The following is a Hoop Bowl presentation. Hello and welcome to the Box Score Breakdown Show presented by Hoop Ball. My name is Adrian Benjamins and I'm joined by Neil Rochelani. And this episode of the Box Score Breakdown Show is brought to you by the Hawaiian Isles Kona Coffee Company. Uh, guys, go get some delicious coffee right now. Go to their website, hawaiianisles.com. You can also find it on Amazon. Neil, how are you doing tonight, man? You were a little under the weather yesterday. Are, are, are you feeling better? I'm feeling so much better. It's great. I thought it was going to get worse. You know, sometimes the cold starts coming on. You think it's just like it's just beginning and it's going to be worse before it gets better. It actually didn't get any worse. I'm actually feeling just fine. So I am um, glad to be here with you. Hopefully I'll uh, be able to be a little more clear-headed tonight. And as we go through this giant slate of games of, I don't know, what do we got, like 10 or so tonight? 12? Uh, I just counted, and there are 32 games. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the uh, we're doing some college <laughs> basketball as well as the NBA tonight. Okay, <laughs> it's crazy, man. I've never seen anything like it. Let's dive right into it, shall we? What I mean, what do you think? Yep, let's go right in. Well, I mean, I think a couple news we should just talk on really quickly. Um, it looks like there's a timetable for um, uh, who am I talking about? Zach Levine, two to four weeks. Should be coming. That's how long he's out. Um, anything else? Yeah, I got one for you. Okay. Goran Dragic. Yes. Knee surgery out. Uh, I believe the timetable is two months. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. We can talk about that as well. Um, well, let's do the games. And then if we get have time, we can go to Miami. Um, all right. You want to start us off? Or did... I'll start. Yeah. Wait. Th- wait. Did I start? I, I think know. I started last time. No. I think I started yesterday. Really? Me or you? Yeah. I don't care. It's up to you, man. Um, you go. So I, I don't okay. have games up. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna start. Uh, gonna start with. And you know, I'm going in order. If you guys want to know what I'm looking at, I'm going in order of how Basketball Monster has it. So this is the game that they have on the top, and then I'm gonna go down in order. I'm gonna start with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And uh, my screen just froze. The Cleveland Cavaliers and the Charlotte Hornets. The Hornets get in the victory here, 110 to 99. But I am going to jump in onto the Cavs side. I'm going to start with uh, Rodney Hood 12 points, two steals, and assists, a rebound. Uh, 1 3, 5 of 11 from the field, 1 of 1 from the line. A little disappointed. He didn't do much in these other categories. And usually he scores, uh, I'm hoping he scores more than 12. So actually this is kind of a letdown game from Hood. Uh, Larry Nance, second game in a row where he's putting up some solid value here. 10 points, 7 assists with 15 rebounds, 2 steals a block, 4 of 7 from the field, 2 of 2 from the line. Started, got 34 minutes. I love his contribution here. I'm hoping he can get his scoring up a little more. But, hey, two games in a row. Let's hope he can keep uh, building on this momentum. Seti Osman, 13 points, two assists, two rebounds. Six to ten from the field, and he added a three. It's a decent game from him. Colin Sexton's been uh, kind of uh, a letdown lately. 11 points, three assists, three rebounds, one three. Shot of real poor, 5 of 17. So let's hope he can turn things around soon. Uh, Nawava got the start, but he's only he's got a game minutes cap right now. Just came back from injury recently, so they're kind of trying to bring him along slowly. I'm keeping an eye on him. He, he got three points, one assist, one steal, two rebounds in 16 minutes. I think he's worth keeping an eye on. I'm curious how good he can be once they ramp his minutes up. Uh, Jordan Clarkson, he's been doing this all season long, man. Um, You know, even though he came off the bench, got 35 minutes, and that's all you care about, man. And the usage is there. In fact, it took the most shots out of anyone on this team. He was 8 of 19 for 20 points, uh, steal, two assists, three rebounds, four threes tonight. Pretty great game from him. They got some help from Alec Burks off the bench with eight points, three blocks of steal, six assists, four rebounds. Blossom game with 15 points, two assists in 23 minutes. Was a perfect six of six and three of four from downtown. It's a pretty good game from him. Neil, what are your thoughts on the Cavs? 
you know, Larry Nance Jr., I didn't know whether to trust last game or not. Um, he, he might already be scooped up in your leagues. Um, one reason I avoided him in DFS tonight because I thought everyone was going to be on him, and I thought he, if, if you know, he had a bad game, I could uh, lap the field from there. But as you said, he had a good game tonight. If he's available um, somehow in your league, pick him up. Um, Sexton, uh, I like what he did tonight. I know he shot 5 of 15 from the field, but I like his uh, three assists, three rebounds, the 15 shots. Um, he has a great free throw um, percentage as well. Tonight I didn't take any, unfortunately. Um, not much else here. You know, Osmond's kind of on the cusp of being owned or not. Um, I think second half of the season, probably better than this current stretch. And um, that's really it. Any uh, Anything else you want to talk about before I go on to the um, Hornet side? Nope. All right, on Charlotte's side, led by, of course, Kemba Walker, 30 points, six assists, three rebounds, an 11 to 26 shooting, four or five from the uh, free throw line, four three pointers, two steals, and a block, only a single turnover. Uh, nice night from um, Marvin Williams here, too. Double doubled, 18 points, 10 rebounds, two assists on eight of 13 shooting, two three pointers, and a block. Uh, Jeremy Lamb, another double double for him too. Eighteen points, twelve rebounds, five assists, eight of sixteen from the free from the field, um, two three pointers. Let's see here. Batum had a uh, you know for him a, a pretty you know okay game. Twelve points, three rebounds, two assists on five of eight shooting, two three pointers, uh, no defensive stats. Col- Cody Zeller in twenty eight minutes just put up four points um, on two of three from the field, eight rebounds, two assists, and. Um, a block on the bench. Tony Parker played 23 minutes, 12, one and four with uh, no defensive stats, no three pointers. Michael Kill, kid, Gil, Chris, 20 minutes, 12, eight and two with uh, two steals and two blocks. Nice to see that Mikel, not Mikel Bridges, miles bridges gets um, 14 minutes. Hernan Gomez four, Kaminsky four. All right. So what I'm taking away from this is the, Lamb is okay. We, we kind of knew Lamb was okay, but I think this is just more evidence Lamb is okay. I've actually been trying to trade him in one of my leagues. Um, I might drop that trade because um, I like this line again. It just, it just reinforces that he's going to be okay. Marvin Williams, um, on the he's kind of right on that edge of being owned or not. Tonight he did well against, you know, obviously a very weak Cleveland team. But I think if you need... Um, Let's see, what, what does he give you? He really gives you low turnovers, um, the rebounds, the points, and um, three-pointers. Not much else here. I think Batum still can be dropped. Um, I don't I don't trust any decent lines from him. Um, and then Parker's outside looking in. Same with Zeller, in my opinion. Um, anyway, what are your thoughts? I'm pretty happy that Marvin Williams has been – pretty solid of late and I was actually able to grab him off the wire in one of my deep leagues so uh this is I'm I'm really happy that he's playing well love your take on Lamb and he is just I mean 42 minutes tonight played the most minutes at anyone on this team he's been real like rock solid all right Neil I'm gonna go to the next one going to take a look at the New York Knicks and the Sixers this one unfortunately looks like it was a blowout 131 to 109, the Sixers uh, just destroying the Knicks tonight. I'm going to start off on the Knicks side. I'm going to start with Kevin Knox. He's he's had his foot on the gas pedal for some time now. Uh, 21 points. Now, a little disappointing. No defensive stats, no assists. Um, did have six rebounds, which is nice. Did have three threes, which is nice. A perfect two of two from the line. He was eight of 17 from the field. Pretty good game from him, man. I really like his outlook for the second half of the season. Moutier, a little bit of a letdown here. Only shot three of 12 for 11 points. No defensive stats. Five assists, three rebounds. Four of eight from the line, one three. Uh, I would just shake this one off if you owned Moutier. He, the minutes are there. The usage is there. He should be much better, uh, much better than this on most nights. Enos Cantor with 15 points, two assists, six rebounds, five of eight from the field, a perfect five of five from the line. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. with a with a great game here, 27 points, two steals, five assists, three rebounds. Three of seven from downtown, a perfect 10 of 10 from the free throw line, seven of 16 from the field. You'll take that. Off the bench, they got a nice boost. 
from Dotson, who had 14 points, two threes in 22 minutes. Not too much else to talk about. Hazonia is just gonzo. Neil Aquino looks like it's not happening for him anymore. Courtney Lee, who we saw, you know, put up a game or two uh, recently, he did nothing tonight. Neil, what do you think of the Knicks, man? Yeah, like we said about Moutier, <clears throat> I think he's definitely, you know, he had such a rough start into his career in Denver and then kind of got shipped out. This guy is still pretty young and has a chance to revitalize his career. I think this could be real in that he could be an NBA player. So I think he's going to get every opportunity down the stretch. Um, and uh, he's going to have decent fantasy value along with, um, maybe not along with Kevin Knox, but Kevin Knox is going to get a lot of minutes. He really is going to kill you in, in some categories, but he will provide points. He'll take a lot of shots. He'll probably do other statistics as well. So someone to keep an eye on if he's still available too. Uh, definitely good for points leagues, both those guys. Um, are we going to jump in there? Yeah, just I want to note super quick, Luke uh, Cornett took a shot to the face in the second quarter of this one, left the game. Could be why he, he only got 10, 10 minutes. And one other thing to note, Trey Burke was a healthy DNPCD tonight. So that was real interesting that he didn't even get in this rotation at all, which is really strange. So just a couple things that I think is worth noting right there. Yeah, I was, I was watching that Burke and see, wanting to see if Burke would come in and take some minutes away from Moutier and did not happen tonight. So I think they're, uh, Fisdell can do anything, right? But right now it seems like he's okay with running out Moutier and uh, hopefully that'll continue. Excuse me, on the Philadelphia side, big nights all around. Let's start with um, Joel Embiid, 24 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 10 of 17 shooting, 4 of 4 from the line and a block. Did have four turnovers. Uh, Butler, 20 points, four rebounds, four assists on six of nine shooting. So efficient. Eight of 10 from the line, three steals, no turnovers. Ben Simmons, triple doubles, 13 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, five of 10 shooting, three of four from the line. Solid there for him. A steal and a block, just three turnovers, so not bad as well. Um, let's see. Let's go with uh, J.J. Redick, 14, two and four on five of 13 shooting, three of three from the free throw line. A Three-pointer, excuse me, and it's a turnover. Wilson Chandler, as we've talked about before, is starting, played 30 minutes, but not really doing much. Just took five shots, six points, eight rebounds, and assist. Um, did Two of those makes were three-pointers, but uh, no defensive stats. Off the bench, Muscala, someone I thought might be a sneaky play at some point, not really emerging as such. 26 minutes, nine points, seven rebounds, two assists on three of nine shooting. Did have three three-pointers and a block. Shamet, 17-1-1. Um, probably this is more of a function of getting more minutes because it was a blowout. Same with TJ McConnell. Played 20 minutes. Korkma, 17 minutes. Putting up some uh, marginal st stats there. We know it's the big three. And, uh, and a Redick on the outside. Just um, if any of these guys are sitting out, Muscal, I think, is a good fill-in. Shamet's a good fill-in. But um, other than that, they're not really worth owning in standard team leagues. Any... Anything new from Philadelphia you want to talk about? No, I think you pretty much covered it. Just want to note, uh, J.J. Reddick surpassed the 10,000 uh, points scored mark in the end. Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty impressive feat for the 13-year veteran. So just wanted to note that, man. What, what a great career he's having. Um, that's about it, man. Um, should I move on to the next one? Yes, please do. All right. Next game I got up is the San Antonio Spurs and the Orlando Magic. This one, another blowout, which is very unfortunate. Spurs getting the win here, 129 to 90. And I'm going to take a look at the Spurs. Going to start with LaMarcus Aldridge, 20 points, two steals, four assists, three rebounds, six and nine from the field. He shot eight and nine from the line. A pretty good game from him. DeMar DeRozan with 17 points, six assists and a steal, seven rebounds, seven of 12 from the field, three of four from the line. Didn't shoot a three, which I noticed in the last game he didn't shoot a three. Just doesn't take three-pointers. Um, Derek White got the start here and uh, well, was pretty disappointing. Nine points, six assists, a block, a rebound, one three, four of six from the field. 
Rudy Gay had a nice game here. 14 points, a block, three assists, six rebounds, six of nine from the field, two of two from the line. Pretty good game from him. Forbes also got the start in this one. 17 points, four rebounds, uh, three of four from downtown, seven of eight from the line. Some very efficient shooting from the Spurs tonight. Um, off the bench, it was Bellinelli that got hot. He was he scored 18 on seven of nine shooting. He added four threes tonight, which is outstanding. Uh, three assists, two two rebounds. Pretty good game from him. Other than that, not too much else to talk about. Jakob Pertles continuing to disappoint. Got 22 minutes, but only put up four points, three assists, four rebounds. Neil, what do you think of the Spurs? The Spurs uh, never count them out, huh? I mean, they, they just can railroad teams left and right with um, some players that uh, are never going to play the All-Star game. It's amazing. They have such a quality team. They play, play such great basketball. Um, like you said, Portal is someone I was watching tonight to see if he could put up some decent value. I was streaming him in one of my leagues um, this week, so I think they play four games. Um, or maybe I got that wrong. Anyway, uh, I guess the one guy I'm watching here is uh, Bryn Forbes. He he's the one guy that's been getting, uh, you know, mid twenty minutes and uh, puts up a decent stat set. Are you uh, at all watching him or own him in deeper leagues? I do not, and I I think he's worth a look in deeper leagues. It probably got to be fourteen team or deeper for for me to take a shot on him, only because uh, he, he's just been so he's just been so inconsistent. So um, yeah, I I just don't trust that he'll consistently put up good lines. But I don't know, man. Yeah, what do you that's, think? that's how I feel about Derek White as well. Um, has the opportunity, but probably won't put up money. Uh, Good fantasy lines, even tonight with the 34 minutes. So, yeah, I think Forbes probably not someone I'm going to start unless one of these other high-usage guys is out, like DeRozan. Maybe then he becomes a play. Uh, other than that, um, not, not much else to pick up on. Let's uh, go over to the Orlando side. Um, it was a blowout, so a lot of these guys did not see many minutes. Uh, the one that one guy who did break 30 minutes was Aaron Gordon. Went for 12-9-7 and seven on 4-10 of 10 shooting. Two three pointers, three turnovers. Jonathan Isaac um, played twenty five minutes, ten points, five rebounds, one assist. Adrian, I know you're probably hoping for more. Two three pointers. Um, Mo Bamba gets a start as well. Someone we had watched coming into the season and thought might be a uh, you know an early star tonight gets his chance to play. Uh, twenty six minutes, scores seven points on two of seven shooting, eight rebounds, two assists. Two steals and two blocks. So the defensive stats were there. Um, DJ Augustine, 24 minutes, 17, 1 and 2 on 6 of 10 shooting, including three three pointers. Evan Fournier, uh, 25 minutes, 12 points, two rebounds, one assist on 5 of 15 shooting, two three pointers and a steal. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jerry Grant gets some time. Uh, he gets 24 minutes, 9, 1 and 4 with a three pointer. Terrence Ross, a very quiet night for him. He only made three of his 11 shots. So just scored seven points, just had the single three-pointer, two rebounds, one assist. That's the problem with streaming these guys. Sometimes they just lay an egg like tonight. And uh, that's about it for Orlando. You know, this team is a little uh, fantasy light, not much to take away or it's all that exciting to own except for Vucevic who was out tonight. You um, Did you do any more Bomba streaming tonight? No, I did not. And, you know, I thought about playing him in a DFS lineup. Like, if I was going to play a DFS lineup, I probably would have played him tonight. And I'm glad that I did not. It was a good thing that I did not play any DFS tonight. And uh, just a really disappointing game from the Magic in general. I mean, when you look at the plus-minus category, every single player tonight was in the minus category and uh neil you know i uh have a lot of jonathan isaac how does he not get a single defensive stat in 25 minutes of action man very disappointed in jonathan isaac which has been pretty much par for the course this uh, season but anyways uh sh any last thoughts here or should i move on um, my only thought is when you're playing against a very well disciplined team sometimes it's hard to get defensive stats they don't make bad bad passes or take 
bad shots at the rim. So maybe that's it. Yeah. And, you know, this one was in Orlando, too. They had a home court advantage in this one. But uh, they just they just uh, just they didn't have it tonight. And the Spurs were just uh, too much for them. All right. I'm going to jump into the next game. And uh, I actually got to watch a lot of this one. The Phoenix Suns and the Boston Celtics. And Neil, what's going on with the Suns, man? Four wins in a row. They beat up, uh, I think it was the Pacers the other night. Now they beat up on the Celtics tonight, 111 to 103. And I'm going to take a look at the Suns. Uh, going to start with Devin Booker, who has just been tremendous lately. 25 points, a steal, two blocks with eight assists, five rebounds, three threes, nine of 23. 23- Nine of 23 from the field, four of six from the line. He did have six turnovers tonight. TJ Warren, uh, 21 points, two steals and assists, five rebounds, one three, seven of 20 from the field, a perfect six of six from the line. Mikel Bridges, Neil, I'm about to drop this guy in uh, my home league, which is a 14 team league. Nine points, seven rebounds, a steal. Um, you know, he did start, he did get 33 minutes, uh, but the usage is down was only three or seven from the field. He did hit three threes tonight, which is nice, but I just don't know if it's going to happen now that they've added Ubre and with Booker back and with Warren rolling. So uh, I don't know, man, I'm not too high on Mikel Bridges right now. De- uh, Deandre Ayton with 23 points, a steal 18 boards tonight is outstanding. 10 of 14 from the field. Great field goal uh, percentage tonight. 3 of 4 from the line. You'll take that. DeAnthony Melton, man. Another guy. He's just not happening. I got. I was really excited for this guy a week ago. And now it's, it's, uh, it's not looking good for him, man. In 16 minutes, had a goose egg. Zero points. Did have five assists, a steal, and a rebound. But very disappointed from him. Josh Jackson. Another guy I'm worrying about a little bit. Um, now that they added Ubre, this he's going to probably take some minutes away from him. So 11 uh, points from him in 28 minutes. Shot 5 of 8, 1-3. You know, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, a block. Uh, but I don't know. It, it was really interesting to see Kelly Ubre in this uh, rotation. Was only 4 of 12 tonight. You know, still adjusting, getting used to this new team. 13 points, a steal, two blocks. Filled it up in a lot of categories here. One assist, six rebounds, two threes tonight. He only shot 4-12 from the field, but was a nice 3-4 of four from the line. So let's keep an eye on him. Rashawn Holmes, uh, as I, I feel like I say this every show, Neil, I wish he could get more minutes, but 16 off the bench. He only got six points, five rebounds and assists, a block, two of six from the field. Neil, what are your thoughts on this uh, Phoenix Suns team, which are red hot right now? Like you said, four in a row. It's amazing. <clears throat> and some of these are on the road. Um, and against Boston. I mean, one, one, of my, uh, one of my soft rules on DFS is don't play guys against Boston because they're such a good defensive team. And tonight they put up some great numbers, like you said, with Aiton and Booker. And um, even guys off the bench did, did well. Yeah, I think I like your take on Melton. You know, he was up against... Um, I think he was trying to guide, guard Kyrie, and he probably just embarrassed him. Maybe that's why he got taken out of the game. But it's a crowded backcourt. He's a rookie. He may not uh, have a lot of value. I mean, he might have some good games, but his overall value would not be great. So, yeah. Uh, so Mikel Bridges, I own him as well. And um, I wanted to see how this plays out. I'm going to give it a couple more games, but I, like you, may end up dropping him. Um, Ubre as well, I own. And... Um, Maybe that's going to change his fortune. I think it's going to be a really hard um, team to predict outside of Aiton, Booker, and Warren. Um, so we'll see if anything shakes up. I could see guys just playing so many different minutes and so many different sort of positional matchups, game in, game out, that it's so hard to predict. So I may end up dropping both those guys. Right now I'm going to hold on for at least a couple more games and see how it plays out. Um, all right, I'm going to go into Boston unless you want to add anything to that. All right, so on the Boston side, led by the aforementioned Kyrie Irving, 29 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists. Adrian, you may want to trade for him in your home league. Uh, Four steals (laughs) and a block. Did have four turnovers, uh, 5 of 5 from the free throw line. 
He is currently eighth in a per game basics and uh, nine category leads. All right. Um, good scoring night from um, Jason Tatum as well. 18 points, eight rebounds on seven of 17 shooting, two of two from the line, two three pointers, a steal, four blocks. Great night from him. Uh, Jalen Brown back in the starting lineup, 24 minutes, six points, one assist, excuse me, one rebound, no assist, three of nine shooting. Uh, tough night there, no three pointers, did have a block. Aaron Baines gets the start for Al Horford, who continues to be out. Um, Baines just played two minutes, though. So um, it looks like he injured himself, is out. He broke his hand, Adrian. He's mm. out until the 23rd, it looks like, of, looks like about at least a month and a half month and a week for him. So that's unfortunate. They're down a couple big men now. Um, Marcus Smart um, got in there and played 32 minutes. He started as well. 12 points, four rebounds, five assists, three of eight shooting, three of three from the line. Good percentage there. Three three-pointers, four steals. We know he can do the defensive stats, just three turnovers. Um, off the bench, Gordon Hayward, 29 minutes, five points, or excuse me, 10 points, five rebounds, four assists on three of eight shooting. Two three pointers, a steal, and two blocks. Um, Robert Williams, this guy is starting to get some uh, traction here. Twenty four minutes, eight points, eight rebounds, one assist. Only took four shots and made them all. Unfortunately, missed both his free throws. Five blocks and a steal. Um, this guy may start to get some minutes with now Baines out and Horford. We'll have to see how this starts to play out. Um, Rozier off the bench, twenty three minutes, twelve one and two. Four of 11 shooting, one steal, and one block. You know, Adrian, I played Rozier in my DFS because I thought this was going to be a blowout on the Boston side, and Terry was going to get like 30 minutes. You just never know. Anyway, Dan Daniel Tice played 21 minutes, uh, Ojale 12. I guess the one guy we're keeping an eye on is that center spot. Who's going to play now with Baines out and Horford continuing to um, linger out there? So perhaps it's... Um, Perhaps it's uh, Robert Williams get some fantasy value. We'll have uh, I, it's hard to just take a chance on him. Boston really misses up, messes up, not misses up, uh, mixes up their lineups a lot. So they could easily go small. Um, the other thing to note is Marcus Morris was out as well tonight, but that's not supposed to be a long term injury. Um, what are your thoughts on the Celtics? Yeah, I think Robert Williams is very interesting and. He reminds me a lot of Mitchell Robinson because he has an extremely high block rate. I mean, as we saw tonight, five blocks in just 24 minutes. So uh, I think if you are desperate for blocks or you're in a deeper league, I think he could be worth an add. As you mentioned, Neil, Baines is going to be out for a while. I think Al Horford is close. So I think I believe he was questionable coming into this one with left knee soreness. So. I think he. I don't think Horford's going to miss too much time. So I'm not running to the wire to pick up Robert Williams, especially in standard leagues. But uh, if you're in a really deep league or you're really desperate for blocks, could be worth an add. And Neil, did you know that Robert Williams' nickname is Time Lord? I had no idea. I am not making this stuff up, man. It is on the internet. <laughs> and everything, everything on the internet is true, man. There's no fake stuff on the internet. Anyways, I thought that was interesting. Time Lord, pretty weird nickname. All right, I'm gonna um, no no more thoughts here. Should I move into the next one? Yeah, let's keep rolling. All right, uh, next game I got up is the Indiana Pacers and the Raptors. I caught the end of this one, and it was super close. It went down to the wire, and the Raptors edged it out here 99-96. to You know, Pacers playing off a of back-to-back. I believe they lost last night to the Suns. So uh, I'm going to jump in on the Pacers' side. Going to start with Victor Oladipo. 20 points, six turnovers is not great. No defensive stats is not great. Four assists, two rebounds. Shot nine of 19. No threes tonight, two of three. That's a ho-hum game from him. Thaddeus Young, who's been playing really good lately, actually. 11 points, a steal, a block, three assists, five rebounds. He added a three, four and nine from the field, two two or three from the line. Uh, Bojan Bogdanovic with 18 points, two steals, and assists, five rebounds, three threes tonight, seven of 13 from the field, uh, one and two from the line. Darren Collison. Didn't score a lot tonight. Was only three and nine from the field for seven points. But I love he got four assists, six rebounds. 
Uh, 101 from the line. Uh, five turnovers isn't great, but uh, what can you do there? Miles Turner, man, this guy has really turned things around. After the rough start at the beginning of the season, he's been really good. Um, low scoring tonight. He only shot three of six for 10 points. But, man, he he also contributed five blocks, a steal, an assist, 14 boards, a three. Shot a, a perfect three of three from the line. You'll take that from him. Sabonis putting up value off the bench. A double-double here with 12 points, 10 boards, two assists. Um, five of ten from the field, two of four from the line. Not too much else to talk about. McDermott gave him a little boost with eight points in just eighteen minutes with two threes. Uh, Tyreek, man, it's not happening for him. Only five points in thirteen minutes. Neil, what are your thoughts on the Pacers? Yeah, it's interesting to see that. Um, I didn't think uh, um, Old Depot played thirty. 36 minutes again tonight after playing 36 last night after he's come back from injury. Obviously, they probably wanted to win this game against Toronto. And so, it was a, as you said, it was a tight game all the way. So maybe that <clears throat> you just wanted to be out there and they let him play. Uh, what I'm t- taking away really is Tyreek um, probably has been dropped. And you can probably drop him if not. These other backcourt players, I'm not into at all. Uh, Joseph or Collison. I know Collison can have some decent nights. But now that Old Depot's back, I just don't think he's going to get enough enough usage to be worth owning. Um, I will say, you know, in the last month, um, Miles Turner is in the top 25, I think, a cat league. So he has been heating up. He has surpassed Sabonis overall for the year. He's 57th in eight cat leagues while Sabonis is 63rd. Um, yeah, this is great news for Turner owners. I don't think you want to sell high on him, Um, but, uh, I wouldn't blame you if you did <laughs> because you never know what might happen if you've owned for before. But uh, let's go on to Toronto side unless there's anything else you want to talk about. No. Nope. Can, can I call you Time Lord? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually want to add, you just mentioned Miles Turner. Did you know on the season uh-huh. with his recent surge just entered the top 50 for the season? So now this, this is also including his rough start to the to the beginning of the season, uh, currently ranked number 48 in nine cat leagues, man. It's outstanding. It is outstanding. Um, all right. On Toronto side, led by Kawhi Leonard, 28 points, 10 rebounds, six assists, 11 to 23 shooting six and nine from the line. So a little struggling there. No three pointers did have four steals, two turnovers. Lowry sat, sat tonight. So Van Flea gets a start in, um, in relief, 11 points, two rebounds, one assist. He just struggled tonight, 4-17 shooting. I like Van Fleet a lot better when, when he doesn't shoot a lot. Um, three of 11 from three-point land, two steals and two blocks. Pascal Siakam, he was their other horse tonight, 35 minutes, 17 points, seven rebounds, four assists on six of 10 shooting, five of six from the line, three steals and a block. Greg Monroe gets a start with both um, Valanchunas and Ibaka unavailable tonight so Monroe gets 23 minutes puts up 13 points eight rebounds six to nine shooting one of two from the line and a steal Danny Green plays 28 minutes like you said Adrian Danny Green only does well when everyone else is doing well (laughs) seven points two rebounds one assist um two steals and a block though so that helps a bit off the bench uh, DeLon Wright six six and four with two of two from the line and a block OJ Anobi, this guy, um, this guy's got supplanted, unfortunately, outside the starting lineup with Siakam's rise. Um, still a good role player, 20 minutes, more, more known for his defense on the court. So they get two, two steals and block, but just eight points, two rebounds and assist. Um, that's the bulk of their stats. I, you know, obviously Greg Monroe, um, I thought about streaming him in DFS um, or playing him in DFS, but uh, I did not. I don't think he had that great of a game. I will say um, it's it's kind of nice that uh, Toronto can still win without two two big pieces. I know Indiana is off a of back to back, so maybe that makes it easier. Delon Wright, I think if he ever got in the starting role, I would stream him. Um, Danny Green, he's got to break your heart. Anyway, uh, that's about all I got. Any thoughts on Toronto? You know, uh, I we said earlier. Um, we were talking about a center to play for DFS, and I I 
thought of Monroe today when it was said that Serge Ibaka was going to miss this one, Valence Yunus was going to miss this one. So uh, Monroe was the guy I was considering for DFS. And also Van Vliet with uh, Kyle Lowry being out. Now, now Van Vliet and Monroe, they didn't have outstanding games. So probably uh, it's a good thing I didn't play DFS tonight. Uh, that's all I got, Neil. Uh, going to jump into the next one. Uh, next one up is the Washington Wizards and the Houston Rockets. This one was a bit, uh, this one was also a blowout, actually. Uh, it was the Rockets getting the victory here, 136 to 118. I'm going to take a look at the Wizards. I'm going to start with John Wall. A uh, big double double with 18 points, two with 12 assists, two steals, four rebounds, five at 12 from the field. He was eight to eight from the line. Uh, Bradley Beal, outstanding game from him. 28 points, two steals, seven assists, three rebounds, three threes. Shot a very efficient five of six from the line, 10 of 17 from the field. Great game from him. Trevor Ariza, second game in the lineup. And uh, man, this guy, I mean, Otto Porter is still out. But this guy's been rolling uh, 15 points. Three steals, three assists, six rebounds. He added a three, seven of 15 from the field. Pretty good game from him. Jeff Green, some decent value here. 12 points, two assists, three rebounds, five and nine from the field, two or three from the line. Thomas Bryant with 12 points, four rebounds and assists, five of six from the field, two of two from downtown is nice from your center. Keeping an eye on Thomas Bryant, man. Uh, Minutes. I love he got 24 tonight because usually when we look at his minutes, it's in like the team range. So who knows, man? Maybe this guy can start rolling. I'm going to keep an eye on him. I don't think Dwight Howard's coming back anytime soon, if at all. So he could be the guy. Um, Keith Morris here let down five points, five rebounds, two six from the field. Sadoransky with with uh, this backcourt healthy. We're not counting on Sadoransky. Only three points tonight. Decker, 15 points in 15 minutes. Neil, what are your thoughts on the Wizards? Yeah, my biggest uh, my biggest question is Markeith Morris. You know, he's uh, <clears throat> I saw him dropped in one of my leagues, and he is 149th on the season in a cat league, so he may not be worth owning. When I first saw that, I thought it was a little strange. I thought he might be okay, and I think I've advocated to own him in in 12 team leagues, but uh, he has been struggling as of late. I would still wait and see uh, as. Porter comes back and as this rotation shakes um, kind of rounds out uh, where he kind of fits in. And um, but if you need to make a move right now, if there's someone that's hot out there that you um, think is you need to pick up right away, maybe you can drop marquee for him. Um, all right. I'm going to go on to the Houston side um, unless you want to question nope. me on my marquee analysis. OK, um, led by. I'm going to take a guess. James Harden, 35 points, three rebounds, nine assists, 10 of 18 shooting, nine of nine from the line. This guy just knows how to get to the free throw line. It's, it's just amazing. Six of 11 from three-point land, two steals, only two turnovers tonight. Nice to see that. Um, Chris Paul, a solid game from him, 21 points, two rebounds, eight assists on seven of 11 from the field, five of nine from three-point land, two steals and a block. Um. Their, their third guy there, Capella, 20 points, 12 rebounds, two assists on 9 of 13 shooting. A steal and a block, one of, one of two from the line, or excuse me, two of four from the line. Uh, Eric Gordon had a decent night in uh, starting there, 31 minutes, 16 points, two rebounds, three assists on 6 of 12 shooting, four three-pointers. Uh, P.J. Tucker, double doubles um, in 34 minutes, 11 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, three points, two steals, um, let's see. Gerald Green has 28 minutes off the bench, 12, two and one on four, seven shooting. And he went four, seven from three point land. Uh, Daniel house, someone I know you've, you may own played uh decently tonight, nine points, four rebounds, one steal. And, um, Brandon Knight got six minutes off the bench. Carter Williams, four minutes. I didn't think they would score 136 points. Um, but when they do a lot of, a lot of statistics put up any, um, any thoughts here from you on Houston side? I'm still I'm still avoiding Tucker and Gordon, uh, despite these decent lines. I think there are better options out there. Uh, any thoughts from you on the Rockets? Man, Tucker is so um, 
I feel like he teases me because he had a good game the other night, you know, a double double here tonight with I love the two steals, four assists, three threes. But the moment I pick this guy up, he's going to do nothing. I know it. So <laughs> I <laughs> I'm just going to uh, stay the course. I'm not going to be distracted by fool's gold. So. Uh, all right. Uh, not much else that left to talk about. Let's keep rolling, man. Let's jump into the next one. Uh, man, we've been going, I feel like we've been going forever and we still got so many games to go still, man. These busy nights are crazy. Next game I got up is the Milwaukee Bucks and the New Orleans Pelicans. The Bucks getting the victory here, 123 to 115. But I'm going to take a look at the Pelicans and see how they did. I'm going to start with Drew Holiday. 25 points, two steals, two blocks, 12 assists, five rebounds, five of nine from three-point range, 10 of 20 from the field. Just outstanding game from Drew Holiday. Anthony Davis with 27 points, 11 rebounds, three assists, two steals, three blocks, four of nine from downtown, 10 of 18 from the field. Three of six from the line. Neil, it is not fair to do the Pelicans box scores because Anthony Davis lines are is like doing an entire team, man. <laughs> it, it, he's outrageous. Uh, he actually went to the locker room in this game, uh, did return. And, you know, there were some conflicting reports that he went down with an ankle injury. And then it was reported that he was just not feeling well or he had some kind of illness. But I would not worry. Uh, he looked fine in this one. Played great. Uh, let's see. What else happened? Miller with 20 points, two assists, two rebounds, six of 11 from three-point range, seven of 15 from the field. Good game from him. Neil, another guy that I am now thinking of dropping, Tim Frazier. Uh, multiple bad games in a row. I'm thinking of dumping this guy in a couple places where I got him. Two points, three assists, five rebounds, no threes, was zero of three from the field. So pretty much only scored from the free throw line where he was two with two. Uh, I'm disappointed in this guy, man. Did have five fouls tonight. So, um, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was just the foul trouble. Maybe it's because he was chasing around Eric Bledsoe. I don't know, man. Um, off the bench, they got a nice spark from Okafor, 17 points. From him, not too much else to talk about. Neil, what are your thoughts on the Pelicans? Uh, well, Adrian, I first have some breaking news. I am currently 17th in DFS right now. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I am moving up the ranks. When we first started this call, I was in the 40s. My man, De'Aaron Fox and Wassel Westbrook are putting it to the test right now. So anyway. Um, Wait, do you have both those guys in your lineup tonight? I do. Fox and, ooh, nice. And, and Fox and Westbrook. And I've got uh, Bialitsa. So I got three uh-huh. guys still rolling. I just want to beat this guy named Bespris. I don't know who he is, but he's <laughs> out there. All right. Um, like you said, Anthony Davis is just so – I feel like he's having – he's just like having a cheat code to fantasy. It's just amazing what he can do. Um, Frazier, unfortunately, yeah, he's just not a very big guy, and sometimes he just gets dominated by, you know, by good defenses, and tonight couldn't do anything. Um, we kind of saw this coming. This team is just – uh, right now depleted unfortunately they're, they're out two of their stars Miritich and uh, Randall and then Peyton is obviously a starter so it's uh it's, it's going to be a struggle for them the next few games um but not much else on the fantasy side I will go over to the Milwaukee Bucks led by Giannis 25 points eight rebounds eight assists eight of 13 shooting nine of 13 from the line two steals and a block did have six turnovers um Chris Middleton, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists on 5 of 13 shooting, 4 of 4 three point, uh, from the free throw line, no three-pointers, 2 steals, 3 turnovers. Brooke Lopez has 20 minutes but just went for 10, 1, and 1. Did have a block and a steal and 2 three-pointers. Malcolm Brogdon, a solid game here, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. I know we've talked about him before. He has been really good this year. 6 of 13 from the field, 2 three-pointers, 2 steals. Bledsoe, quiet night from him in 24 minutes. 20, uh, excuse me, 9.6 rebounds, four assists on four ten shooting, one three pointer. Um, and then off the bench, George Hill gets 29 minutes, goes for 11, two and one, with three steals and two three pointers, 
And then DJ Wilson, someone uh, he got 24 minutes tonight. Sterling Brown, 19. Tony Snell, 18. Thon McCurr, 14. Let's just see here if there were any injuries. Um, no, Bledsoe only played 24 minutes. That's interesting. Um, he did have just, well, he had three fouls. Anyway, that was interesting to see. This team obviously um, uh, full strength, so they played well tonight and a nice one at home. On the fantasy side, um, Middleton looks like he's now climbing his way back into what we expect to be third-round value. Brogdon, clearly a mid-round value. That's been phenomenal this year. George Hill coming over to the Bucks. Thought he might be able to see some fantasy relevancy, but clearly it's not going to happen or hasn't happened yet. Um, any thoughts on Milwaukee from you? Um, no thoughts from me. You pretty much covered it all. I'm going to jump into the next game. And uh, I got the Detroit Pistons and the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Pistons getting the win here, 129 to 123. I'm going to take a look at the Pistons and see how they did. Uh, going to start with Blake Griffin, 34 points, four assists, a block with eight rebounds, five threes tonight. 13 of 22 from the field, 3 of 6 from the line. A pretty great game from him. Andre Drummond with the big double-double here. 16 points, 16 rebounds, a steal, a block, 2 assists, 5 of 9 from the line. He 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 shot a 3 and made it, which is, uh, man, that's outstanding. 5 of 7 from the field. Great game from him. Reggie Bullock, 33 points, man. He had it going on tonight. One steal, one assist, three rebounds, seven of 12 from downtown, 12 of 21 from the field. Man, what is going on over here? Two of two from the line. Great game from him. Luke uh, Kennard was the letdown in the start uh, here. Uh, three points. Actually, he didn't start. That's weird. I'm totally looking at this wrong. He, he, he only played 19 minutes off the bench for three points. Uh, Reggie Jackson, though, he did start and he played well. 24 points, 6 assists, 2 rebounds, 7 of 9 from the line, 3 of 5 from downtown, 7 of 13 from the field. Uh, it was actually Brown that got the start, but he only played 17 minutes for 4 points. Um, Galloway with 8 points in 24 minutes. We don't trust him. Kyle Duran with just 2 points in 19 minutes. Um, man, Stanley Johnson's just... it. I... <laughs> that it's just it's just never gonna happen. I mean, I don't even know what to say, Neil. It's just never gonna happen for this guy. I have completely given up on him. Only five points in fifteen minutes. What do you think about the Pistons? Yeah, the only one I'm kind of watching here is Kennard, and um, just got 19 minutes. Like you said, a very quiet night from him. So I thought he might be able to put value up. Bullock had a huge night shooting, uh, 12 of 21. He's the other wing player that might have some fantasy relevancy as far as I'm concerned, but uh, this is just an anomaly. Uh, Minnesota, well, I wouldn't say they're not known for their defense. They've had a very good defensive team this year, um, but uh, this is a one-off for me. I'm not going to pick up Bullock after this, but uh, I will continue to watch him and Kennard and see if any of those guys ever develop into fantasy relevancy. Um, all right, I'm going to go over the Minnesota side. This, da- this game to go into overtime, so these statistics are a little inflated. On the Minnesota side, uh, start with um, Carl Anthony Towns, 41 minutes, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists on 6 of 15 shooting, 4 of 6 from the line, uh, 0 of 7 from 3-point land, 1 steal on 3 blocks. You know, Adrian, whenever the whenever Minnesota loses and I look at the box score, it's always because Towns takes a lot fewer shots than some of the other players. And tonight, Derek Rose took 29 shots. I mean, he did make 14 of them. And scored 33 points, but I don't know why Towns is not taking 20 to 25 shots a game. Anyway, uh, 33 points for Rose, three rebounds, seven assists, four four from the free throw line, one three pointer, one steal, two turnovers. Andrew Wiggins a saw game, 16 points, six rebounds, two assists, three of three from the line, a three pointer, three steals for him tonight. Covington, he played well as well. Uh, Fantasy wise, 22 points, six rebounds, two assists on seven to 15 shooting, five three pointers, a steal, and a block. Taj Gibson back, gets 22 minutes, six points, eight rebounds, one assist on three of five shooting. Uh, Darius Sarge got 32 minutes in relief, 15 points, six rebounds, two assists, 
on two three-pointers and one steal. Josh Okoge, 31 minutes, seven and six, though. So very quiet night from him in a lot of time. Tyus Jones gets 15 minutes. Jang, 11. You know, Adrian, if um, Sarge, if they ever went with Sarge in a starting role and gave him 30-plus minutes a night, I think he could be fantasy relevant. He fits the modern NBA. He could get 15 to 18 points a night, two to three three-pointers, you know, six to eight rebounds, and then do sort of like he passes well so he could get a couple assists. I, this guy could be fantasy gold if he ever got in that starting lineup. Um, so I'm just watching that. Other than that, um, Derek Rose continue to start him. He's been fine this year. We'll see what happens with Jeff Teague. He's been out two games in a row with an ankle injury. Hopefully this is not going to linger much longer. Um, any thoughts from you on the Timberwolves? I agree with your take on Sarek. I'm kind of watching that situation to see how it pans out. And sounds like Jeff Teague is already unlikely for Friday Tom Thibodeau said that uh, it'll probably be a few days before Teague can work his way back in the lineup. So, you know, maybe we see him towards the end of the weekend or the beginning of next week. Hopefully, as you said, he's not out too long here. But Derek Rose looks like a solid fill in. Uh, maybe a guy to consider for DFS. huh? Uh, all right. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets against at the Chicago Bulls. And another team that is rolling right now is the Brooklyn Nets. I want to say they won six or seven games in a row. I'm not looking at their game log, but I know uh, it might be seven games in a row here. Uh, 96 to 93. Gonna jump in on the Nets side. Gonna start with uh, gonna start with Jared Allen. 16 points, 12 boards, three assists, no blocks tonight, which is surprising. Did you see Jared Allen get that block on LeBron James the other night? Last night, yes, I did. That Very was beautiful, impressive. man. It yeah. was a beautiful night. Crazy that LeBron's only been blocked at the rim nine times in his career on block attempts, man. Like, isn't that nuts? That's nuts. Nine times in, like, what, 14 years or something? Yeah, That's it's, <laughs> it's outrageous, man. Just, ah, yeah. uh, oh, man. Anyways, yeah. D'Angelo Russell, 13 points, three assists, three rebounds. Uh, shot six of 14, one of six from downtown. Didn't go to the line tonight. Joe Harris, who's been really good, just was uh, kind of average here tonight with 11 points, four assists, four rebounds, three threes, four of nine from the field. Uh, I-, I do like Joe Harris, though. Keep him locked and loaded. Uh, Hollis Jefferson, another guy who's been rolling pretty well lately, kind of a letdown here tonight with only nine points, three assists, three rebounds. I still love that he's starting, got 28 minutes. He took 10 shots tonight, so only made two of them. If the shot was falling a little bit more, if he if if he put a couple of more of these shots in the rim, uh, this scoreline would look a little better. Um, Neil, your favorite player, Kuruks, <laughs> Kuruks, eight points, four rebounds, a steal, a block, three of five from the field, no threes tonight, two of two. Ah, let's just ignore him. Don't pick him up. The guy who I'm sure he's already picked up all over is Spencer Dinwiddie, man. Jeez, his his line is blinding me right now. 27 points with two steals, three assists, six rebounds, four threes, eight of 15 from the field, seven of eight from the line, just signed a new contract. He's locked and loaded. Um, not too much else to talk about. Damari Carroll, we don't trust. Look bad. Dudley, we don't trust. Ed Davis, we know he's not worth owning. Um, no crab tonight, which was a little surprising. What are your thoughts on the Nets, Neil? Yeah, like, like you said, this is their seventh win in a, in a row. Uh, great effort, especially off a of back-to-back and then on the road. Um, I know Chicago's not a great team, but still, it's very hard to do in the NBA. Uh, so a very nice win for them. Uh, Hollis Jefferson took a step back tonight, just played 28 minutes, 9, 3, and 3. Did take 10 shots, though. So like, like you said... I think uh, last night he's worth owning if uh, you need to take a chance on someone, especially if you're in, like in a, a league and your team's not very good and you need to just pick up guys that can that could pop. He's one of them. Um, when you said my favorite guy, I was like, are we going back and talking about uh, <laughs> Anthony Davis? What's going on here? Uh, yeah, Rodians. Let's see what he ends up with. Um, yeah, good night all around from uh, Brooklyn and um, – um, Joe Harris. I want to go pick him up in the league. He was already taken. So I guess this guy's more popular than I thought. But he's been playing well at a shooting guard. 
All right, I'm going to go over to Chicago side. Uh, tonight led by Chris Dunn, uh, 24 points, four rebounds, six assists, and 11 to 21 shooting, one to two from the line, a three-pointer, two steals, three turnovers. Um, Markinen, I thought, was going to have a really strong line um, tonight with, uh, as we know, Zach Levine still out for a few more weeks. Um, played 33 minutes, uh, just shot six times. I'm really surprised about that. Eight points, six rebounds, two assists, two three-pointers, though. Uh, Justin Holiday, um, quiet night from him. Five points, three rebounds, three assists on two of ten shooting. Just one of five from three-point land. A steal. Did have a steal on two blocks. Uh, Wendell Carter Jr. got in foul trouble again, Adrian, but he did play 24 minutes. Nine, five, and two. Two assists. Um, one steal, one block. Uh, Ryan Arke Diacono, Kono, uh, Diacono. 23 minutes, 10 points, one rebound, two assists on four or six shooting. Two of two from three-point land. Um, quiet night from him in the starters role, just 23 minutes. Shaquille Harrison actually got 26 minutes. Uh, keep an eye on him just to monitor him for like deeper leagues. Bobby Portis, someone I'm thinking about picking up. Um, he's now back in there. Just played 24 minutes, but 16 and 11 and one. If he can double double like this every night, I think it'll be worth owning Did take 18 shots. So only made six of them. Would like to see him take more like 12 shots Four or four from the line though. Uh, a steal and a block. Cameron Payne played 20 minutes off the bench. Lopez played 15 minutes. Uh, you know, Adrian, I was worried with this new coach that Carter Jr. minutes might drop. It only seems to be his minutes drop when he gets in foul trouble. So I think he's safe, although tonight kind of just put up a ho-hum line. Um, I think for the time being, Chris Dunn and Mark are going to be the, the two uh, core pieces for fantasy value until Levine comes back, and then it'll be interesting to see how it flushes out. But uh, those are the only two guys I'm keeping an eye on. Um, how about you? I'm uh, in addition to Bobby Portis. Sorry. How about you about uh, uh, Chicago Bulls? I feel like maybe Bobby Portis could be uh, the return in the emergence of Bobby Portis could be hurting Wendell Carter Jr. a little bit. I still like Wendell Carter Jr.'s outlook. And real quick, just want to note – Bobby Portis actually left this game late in the fourth quarter with a sprained right ankle. Hope it's nothing serious because uh, he's been playing pretty well lately and uh, just hoping that it's nothing that keeps him out. It, it didn't look like it was anything serious. I believe he uh, walked to the locker room on his own. So usually that's a really good sign that it's, you know, nothing, nothing to worry about. But just want to note that. And, um, yeah, man, I mean, I would even kind of be thinking maybe you can kind of buy low on Wendell Carter Jr. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't trade him for a really high value guy, but, um, if you can trade if if you can buy low on Wendell Carter Jr. right now, I still like his outlook for the second half of the season. All right, Neil, uh, any closing thoughts here before I move on to the next one? Let's do it. Let's keep rolling. All right. I, next. I know. I know you got to go. So let's go. Oh, uh, next. This is my last one of the evening. Next, next game up, the Warriors and the Jazz, and a surprising win here for the Jazz, one hundred eight to one hundred three. And uh, I'm gonna jump in on the Warriors, and it was Kevin Durant who had, uh, actually, yeah, Kevin Durant and Curry. But I'll take a look at Durant first. Thirty points, two assists, seven rebounds, two threes tonight. 10 of 23 from the field, 8 of 9 from the line. Great game from him. Uh, Steph Curry, 32 points, a block, 3 steals, 3 assists, 3 rebounds, 5 of 9 from 3-point range, 12 of 21 from the field, 3 of 3 from the line. Great game from him. Klay Thompson with 12 points, a block, 3 steals, 3 assists, 6 rebounds, 6 of 6 from the line. Um, no threes tonight from Clay, which is odd. And three of twelve from the field isn't great, but he'll I'm sure he'll bounce back in the next one. Uh Draymond Green with eight points, twelve rebounds, and assist two steals. Four of ten from the field, no threes from him, zero zero from the line. Uh Looney looks like Looney got the start and had four points in 16 minutes. Off the bench, they didn't get much help at all off the bench, man. Six points from Jarebko, three points from Iguodala, four points from Livingston and McKinney. Jordan Bell put up a goose egg in nine minutes. Neil, what do you think of the Warriors? I think they're a good basketball team. Um, yeah, not much else to think about this, guys, until really Cousins comes in and we see how it plays out. These guys are pretty much, we got the four players that we know about. 
and they're kind of where we thought they were two first rounders you know mid round well and then we thought like two second or third rounders but it turns to be more like two third and fourth rounders and um we'll see how it plays out um none of these guys off the bench can really do much i think jarebko is the only one who can do much when there's injuries um no one else i really trust uh should i go over to the utah jazz side yes all right i know you need to get out of here so jazz got the win as you said nice night for um we'll start with donovan mitchell 17 points five rebounds six assists adrian he had a very poor shooting night i don't know if you saw this line five of 26 from the Jeez. field six uh, turnovers too six turnovers and they still won two three-pointers two steals and a block that's very surprising uh, Go Bear, 17 points, 15 rebounds, one assist on 6 of 12 shooting, 5 of 6 from the line, four blocks. Um, monster game from him. Derek Favors gets the starting role, which I was surprised. With the Warriors, I thought they would go with um, Crowder. Uh, Favors did start with 12 points, nine rebounds, one assist on 5 of 7 shooting, one block, three turnovers. Ingles, I put him on my bench, Adrian, and I should have started him in DFS because this is going to happen. 20 points, three rebounds, three assists, seven of 13 shooting, two of two from the line, four three-pointers, two steals, and a turnover. Uh, Ricky Rubio, um, three points, five rebounds, did have 10 assists, O of eight shooting. So between he and Mitchell, they were five of 34. They still got a win here. Uh, Three of three from the free throw line. No defensive stats from him. Off the bench, Crowder really helped carry them here. 18 points, 11 rebounds, two assists, six of 11 shooting. Five three pointers and a steal. Corver playing a decent role here. Twenty minutes, twelve two and four, one steal. Uh, Exum played seventeen minutes. You know, if um if they ever go down a wing player, Corver might be worth streaming. Um, he still has it in him to play at a high level. So that's that's really it. You know, kind of keep an eye on Favors and Crowder to see if any one of those guys emerges. But it really has been a split time um, between starting and also the minutes. So neither one is really consistently good so kind of just white waiting to see if maybe something shakes up there that can be more consistent but um it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon any thoughts on you on the um utah jazz i'm really happy to see Ingles play well in this one and uh as seems like has been the storyline for the entire season is my disappointment right now in donovan mitchell man five of 26 is just atrocious and and luckily where i own them it's an eight cat league because the six turnovers as well would just destroy destroy me there so uh just very disappointed in donovan mitchell this season and uh yeah man that's it that's all i got and uh i think that's gonna do it for me neil i gotta run two more games still to go so neil will be back uh i'm gonna say goodbye to you guys hit me up on twitter at adrian benjamin's we will be back tomorrow night, Thursday. I'm Neil. I haven't taken a look, but my fingers are crossed that we got a lighter slate. Because uh, man, this uh, 32 game night is just crushing me, man. Is it out? It's just so much stuff to look at. It's crazy. All right, Neil. I'm gonna get out of here. He'll be back for two more games. Okay, on to the last two games of the evening. Memphis versus Portland trailblazers hold on and win 99 to 92 on the Memphis side. We get a Mike Conley back and he plays 37 minutes, 23 points, four rebounds, six assists on seven to 19 shooting four or five from the free throw line, five, three pointers and a block Marcus saw 14, nine and four on four, 13 shooting five of five from the free throw line, a three pointer, four steals and a block. Jaron Jackson Jr., 16, 5, and 2, uh, with three blocks. Kyle Anderson has a good game here 15 points, five rebounds, three assists, seven of eight from the field, 101 from the line. Great percentages. Seven, excuse me, four steals and a block, two turnovers. Uh, off the bench, uh, Sh- oh, excuse me, Garrett, Garrett Temple, the other starter, 29 minutes, 10 points, one rebound, one assist. Unfortunately, not really fantasy worthy. Did have two steals and two blocks tonight in a three pointer. Shelvin Mack, 22 minutes. Um, he only has value when Conley's out, and even then it's kind of kind of low end. Um, Jermichael Green, same same thing. Only really has value when Jaron Jackson um, is in foul trouble or 
he's out. Um, and then Javon Carter got 12 minutes as well, but did not do any scoring or have put up any fantasy value. Really, it's just um, Conley and Gasol are kind of delivering what we had hoped this year. Gasol a little better than expectations. I believe he's 22nd or 23rd on a per-game basis in eight, in eight category leagues, while Conley is a round behind that. And then Jaron Jackson, mid-round value right now, 70-something. And um, eight cat leads, and I think he will continue to get better. Um Kyle Anderson is the one one person that I do not um, want to. Um, I mean, I'm tracking him for sure. Obviously, he has fantasy value um, or uh, fantasy potential, if not value, right now. Um, and uh, nights like night, like tonight, are or what are what you're hoping for. But um, I just uh, I just worry that uh, this offense is not too inclusive of him. Um, I thought he would get more assists this year. He's averaging um, three assists per game. I thought if he was a five or plus assist guy, then he could have value overall. That was kind of my barometer for his value this season. There was some talk about the offense running through him. Doesn't seem like it's happening. It's all Conley and Gasol still. So um, he's going to be on that very low end um, range for value, but it's not someone that I am. I do not think he can get inside the top 100. So at this point, I'm just looking for guys that might pop second half of the season, and I don't think he'll be one of them. Um, anyway, on to the Portland side. We'll go with Damian Lillard, 24 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 9 of 18 shooting, 5 of 8 from 3-point land. Great night for him. 2 steals, 2 blocks, 4 turnovers. C.J. McCollum struggled as he has been this season. Um 11 points, four rebounds, one assist on five of 16 shooting, one of two from the free throw line, uh, missed all his three pointers, had a steal and two turnovers. Nurkic only played 21 minutes, seemed to have struggled in this game, had five turnovers in that time, 8.7 rebounds, one assist, two of six from the field. Did go perfect from the line, though, so four of four from the free throw line, two steals um, in the five turnovers, as I mentioned. Harkless, someone who I think – uh, has greater potential than slow than slow mo, as uh, strange as that might sound. Currently, uh, not not doing it, of course, but the potential I think might be there, worth watching, at least. Nine points, two rebounds, three of four shooting, two of two from the free throw line, a three pointer, and a steal, one turnover. Aminu, a very quiet night from him. Three, two, and one. Only took two shots, um, missed them both. Went three of four from the line. Uh, did not have a three pointer tonight. Did have a steal. The bench really carry them here. Miles Leonard, excuse me, Myers Leonard, 27 minutes, 12, 8, and 2, 4, 7 from the field, 2 of 2 from the line, 2 three pointers. Zach Collins played 26 minutes, 10.7 rebounds, 1 assist, 3 of 3 from the line, 3 pointer, and a block. Evan Turner got 26 minutes, 6, 5, and 4, uh, 3 of 7 from the field, no defensive stats, no three pointers. Uh, Seth Curry plays 18 minutes, Stouts gets 15 minutes. You know, just going back to Harkless real quick, I do not think he's necessarily going to be better than uh, Kyle Anderson. It very much could be the case he finishes worse. It's just that um, I think he has the potential to get in the top 100. Um, he's 212 right now, so he's a long ways away. I'm not even advocating to pick him up. I'm just advocating to watch to see if this guy ever gets the 32 minutes a game consistently as he's coming back into game shape. And if so... Um, um, if his plus minus on this team is really high as they fight for a playoff spot in the West and positioning in the West, <clears throat> is he uh, a big part of that? Or is he more an ancillary role? And obviously right now he's um, not a big part of it. So potential there for him, but uh, uh, a lot of times potential does not become realized. So not banking on it, but something I am watching on the Oklahoma city uh, Sacramento side, Oklahoma City with a nice win here on the road, uh, 132 to 113. Just a lot of great stats from their key players. Westbrook triple doubles, 19 points, 11 rebounds, 17 assists. Um, the only frustrating part of his game, or the, the major frustrating part of his game, is his free throw sh percentage, 62% of the year. That's killing him. 
Otherwise, he'd be first round value in eight category leagues, two of seven from the line tonight. Did have a three pointer and did have six um, steals. So that was amazing. Uh, five turnovers if you're having a nine cat leagues. Uh, Paul George, though, led the scoring 43 points on 15 and 27 shooting, 12 rebounds, seven assists, nine of 10 from the free throw line, four three pointers. Um, he is phenomenal. Uh, first round value in a category leagues for sure. I'm sure nine as well. His field goal percentage has held up this year, 44%. So that's not weighing him down. Steven Adams, big double, double 20 points, 23 rebounds, one assist, eight of 12 shooting four, four from the line, two steals. Uh, Jeremy Grant, a uh, nice line from him as well. 22 points. On 9 of 11 shooting, struggle from the line, 2 of 6. That's much more to be expected. Unfortunately, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 three-pointers and a block. Uh, Terrence Ferguson, 29 minutes. He, unfortunately, cannot get the fantasy relevancy. 14 points, 3 rebounds, 0 assists on 2 of 6 from 3-point land. No steals, no blocks. Uh, Abrinas off the bench, 23 minutes. Uh, Hamadou Diallo, 17 minutes. Nerlens Noel, uh, I haven't been able to trust this guy, and tonight is one of the reasons why. 14 minutes, two rebounds, four assists, um, no steals. Did have three blocks, so um, I don't want to say salvaged it because that's not enough, but uh, not completely terrible, I guess. Patrick Patterson, 10 points, or excuse me, 10 minutes, uh, three points and a rebound. Uh, not much else to say here. Um, I think Diallo, uh, future fantasy player in uh, years to come, certainly not now. Um, Noel, perhaps uh, next season uh, could have fantasy relevancy. I don't think he will be this year. Uh, Ferguson, not as well. Uh, Jeremy Grant, um, a good night tonight, but he's still hard, too hard for me to trust uh, with the big three taking up so much of the usage. So let's go to the final team tonight, uh, Sacramento. Uh, big night from Buddy Heald. I think he had a career high scoring night in 35 minutes. He scored 37 points on 25 shots, 11 to 25 from the field, six rebounds, three assists, eight of eight from the free throw line, seven three pointers, two steals, and not a single turnover. Great line from him. Darren Fox, um, double doubles with 28 points, three rebounds, 12 assists on 10 of 18 shooting, including three three pointers. He, he himself struggled from the line, five of nine from the free throw line. Um, two steals and two blocks for turnovers. Collie Stein, 13, 7, and 4. Six and nine from the field. Two steals, uh, not a block tonight. Bielitsa back in the starting lineup with um, Shumpert out for a while. So um, I think it's a while, but uh, he's definitely streamable until that time. Um, and Bagley out as well until the beginning of uh, next year. So 23 minutes tonight from Bielitsa. So kind of quiet for him. 10 points, six rebounds, and a block, a three-pointer. Uh, Justin Jackson, this is the curious one. He's in the starting role for, um, I'm not sure how many times he started this year. But anyway, he did start and play 37 minutes. 10 points, six rebounds, two assists, two three-pointers, a steal. Um, I didn't do a whole lot even with 37 minutes, so I don't think he's worth adding. Maybe roll the dice on him if he starts again in a one-off situation off the bench. Uh, Troy Williams plays 19 minutes. Scal gets 16 minutes. Farrell gets 14. Costa Kufus, uh, 13. It's really hard to, um, uh, see those, uh, these random guys get minutes. We kind of know who are the ball dominant, um, and usage guys. We got Fox and healed Kali Stein. Um, I thought he was gonna be better this year. He is just barely relevant in uh, standard leagues and eight category leagues. Uh, Bogdanovich is, uh, he's out tonight. Shumpert is not. And then Bagley, I think, will be again. If Bagley happened to be dropping a league in your league, um, he's expected to come back on the fifth. So I'm not sure you can stash him for two weeks, but at least um, start to look to do that if you can stash him because I think he will be. Um, continuing to get those 28 to 30 minutes a game and put up double doubles consistently. All right, that is going to do it for tonight's episode of the Box Score Breakdown. Uh, once again, we are sponsored by Hawaiian Isles Kona Coffee. And um, you also still have the um, season membership still available if you are inclined for that. Uh, we do our DFS every Wednesday. Um, 
So we'll be back on again next. Well, I assume we're back on again next week for Wednesday nights, um, despite the holiday season. And um, that's it tonight. Tomorrow night, Adrian will be back for two games late, so very short. But we will talk to you then. This has been a hoop ball presentation.